Okay, so we've got all three of our 3D printed parts, and what we're gonna do is start trimming down the assemblies. But the flow dynamics for the thermoformed star part versus the 3D printable stackable star part both work fine. So we're gonna start by clipping off the buttons to these things with some heavy duty cutters. And depending on how you get your tool in there, okay, you can cut with the jeweler saw, you can cut with flush cutters, you can cut with bolt cutters, but you wanna make sure to leave enough of a point if you in fact need that point. So there's one thing to consider there in terms of the dynamics of your design of should this be sawed or should this be clipped. Now. parts that we have that we want to keep for the design ultimately just involve, let's get this in focus, trimming off just above the star part on five points. Okay. And then depending on what you're doing with your final design, if you want to trim off at the base of the star as well, you can. But generally what I do is I make sure I'm clear of the top of the adjacent part before moving on to the next one. That. And one more. So then you have access to the next star and you just trim it down. So depending on your metal, you can get in there with a file or a jeweler saw to address the surface of each one. But what you have is a nice uniform star part with a little bit of 3D printed texture on it and it looks like some wax trail or water trail. Again, you can see some 3D printed texture. We're gonna file these areas back to the star point. And then these, if you don't want them, you can just clip them off. But for this version, Start at the bottom, like so. And you can see how you very quickly get a nice star part with no backer. So whether you want these prongs for some other purpose or you don't want these prongs, you have the two options. And then on the top you see we have one with the thermoformable version as well, where we could cut right here and bend these down if we needed something with prongs. Or we could use the stackable version. I'm going to switch to time-lapse and just break this down.